Hey folks, um, Ask Hemp here. Just want to give a quick um, kind of a start off of what my my real basis and premise of why uh, why cannabis is safe for everyone, okay? And why the myths that are perpetuated, I believe, are just being perpetuated essentially to protect um, cronyism between the politicians and what I term the policy enforcers, which are the, the law enforcement gentlemen. But um, it looks to me like over the course of time that uh, that cash seizures and stuff like that from from drug arrests really are just essentially shakedowns. I mean, it's almost like a mafia deal. Um, anyway, so in my research, what I found is there is no THC in cannabis. Okay, a chemical process must take place in order for THC to happen, and that's called decarboxylation. All right, decarboxylation takes place when a oxygen and carbon atom effectively drop or lose their bond um, to this molecule, the delta nine, I'm sorry, the, the let me think, it, um, that it's the it's the tetrahydrocannabinolic acid molecule. I don't even know what it's technically called. So it's the tetrahydrocannabinol tetrahydrocannabinolic acid molecule. That molecule, in order to become tetrahydrocannabinol um, and actively and and I'm sorry have and and then be psychoactive it has to lose the carbon and the oxygen and then become THC so that happens under decarboxylation so if decarboxylation does not occur then THC does not occur and we end up with just uh, this enzymatic synthase called THCA or tetrahydrocannabinolic acid um, I'm not going to go into it I I found that THCA is very medicinal. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> I'm not going to make any claims like that because that, obviously that's not what this is about. So anyway, um, the bottom line is the hemp and cannabis genomes have been mapped, um, or the genetics have been mapped. Chemdog was the strain that was mapped for cannabis. Um, Phenola was mapped for hemp. And what they found is that ChemDog ended up with both CBDA and THCA. Phenola Hemp and only ended with CBD. Okay, so what that's saying is here's the end of the line for hemp and it ends up with CBDA. Okay, CBDA when decarboxylated under heat becomes CBD, all right, which then you produce CBD hemp oil from, but that's 0% THC, okay? There is no THC in hemp. It's not 0.3. It's not low THC. It's zero. It's zero because the precursor, which is THCA, does not exist in the biosynthetic pathway for hemp. And you can look that up on http colon forward slash forward slash uh, cannabis genome c-a-n-n-a-b-i-s g-e-n-o-m-e dot com cannabis genome dot com okay um, and then you're also going to see that ChemDog has been mapped. ChemDog ends up with both THC and CBD, okay? Now, if, again, we don't have decarboxylation, then we don't get THC, all right? Only with decarboxylation do we get THC. 
So if you've got kids, infants, children, do not decarboxylate. It will not intoxicate. Okay? Do not decarboxylate. It will not intoxicate. And then above this line, this is medicinal cannabis. Okay? This is juiced medicinal cannabis right here. Then we've got another variety that is becoming a, a very popular out in Colorado. Uh, Josh Stanley and his brothers have brought it forward. It's called Charlotte's Web. Um, Charlotte Figgy making it very famous, very brave young lady. And it ends with CBD, okay? Now, that's medicinal cannabis ending with CBD, which becomes CBD, I'm sorry, CBDA. It ends with, or it becomes CBD after they decarboxylate it, all right? So they're making CBD cannabis oil down this chain right here. They're making THC cannabis oil down this chain here. This is the pathway of Rick Simpson oil here. This would be effectively very similar to a Rick Simpson oil, but from a strain that does not have THC, so it can't convert to THC. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't always happen. It's not even necessarily the intention of the user. And so if this doesn't happen, just like here, if this doesn't happen, then you're left with CBDA, okay? Now, part of the reasoning I'm saying that is that, that what's assumed by all this political rhetoric about having to regulate and tax and worry about hemp is that everybody, they're saying, oh, they might plant this here. Not going to happen. This is full of seeds. This is full of flowers. These flowers will be ruined in this seed patch. No one is going to plant marijuana into a seed patch. Okay. On the other hand, also, the, uh, the benefit of the THCA from a medicinal perspective for those who don't care to have the psychoactivity of the THC, um, they are going to miss out on this right here. So we need to keep in mind that there are effectively, like I say, one hemp, two THC or THCA, three THCA, CBDA, and then four, which I have number three here, four uh, CBDA strains of, and all these strains are effectively cannabis. All right, this is my first video. I'll improve this thing next time. I'm going to post it anyway just to get clobbered on from whoever and get beat up with some Ask Hemp questions. And that's what the whole deal is about, is Ask Hemp. I'm hemp, okay? I'm hemp because I'm also cannabis, but I'm hemp because I eat a third of my diet in hemp seed, hemp protein, hemp oil. I don't care what it is. If it's made from hemp, I'm eating it. I reduced my diet from coal, corn and started eating hemp products instead. And once I did that, I realized that I am hemp. I'm, I am cannabis. I'm not corn like the guys in King Corn. I'm, I'm cannabis. I'm hemp. And as you can see, dude, I mean, this, this is a freaking, I'm not even going to show you the mean lean machine is inside here, the abs, the obliques, the muscle mass, the, the protein and hemp seed builds inside you, the health, the the flat lining of your gut. If you have if you've got any gut disease and you're not eating hemp seed, I I mean I it, it's like I, I look at anyone bewildered and I say how it's, get on it now. Eat hemp seed now if you have a digestive disease. It will flatline your stomach in 30 seconds. I mean it's that unbelievable. Once you feel that, when you have a, a gut disease, you're meat, your soul. Boom, done. You're I mean at that stage you're on board. I mean I I, I muscle down meat two or three things a hemp a day that are like porridge. I mean, I feel like porridge. 
because of the health benefit from it. I mean, that's, anyway, cheers, my friends, have a great day.